The CCP virus pandemic has lasted for over four months now. Staggering numbers of people have died in Wuhan and Hubei province, where the virus originated. To maintain stability and avoid responsibility, the CCP has suppressed citizen journalists and cracked down on grassroots aid efforts. A volunteer from Wuhan who has accepted interviews from Western media says that he was repeatedly warned by police. He reveals that officials have tried to silence him, collecting fake evidence to frame him for financial fraud crimes. Zhang Yi is a volunteer with a volunteer aid group. Ever since the outbreak started, in order to let more people know about the actual situation in Wuhan, Zhang Yi and some others established a reporting group to record and upload videos from the front lines to social media platforms in China and abroad in order to seek assistance. Later on, Zhang Yi and his group set up a system to aid people quarantined inside their homes by helping purchase badly needed supplies. Aid organization volunteer Zhang Yi says, At the time, we had many people out and about taking note of the market situation. Where were groceries for sale? Where were medication, alcohol, PPE, and masks available? There were also people examining the situation outside hospitals, which hospitals had shorter lines so people can go get injections. We posted this information online. Fang Bin, a Chinese journalist, and others were also doing this. We also had others providing aid to people in Wuhan. We had people working on this too. Zhang Yi makes Gu Qin. He donated the alcohol he used in instrument making, as well as several boxes of PPE to those in need. If they lived close by, I took the things over myself. If they lived far away, they drove over and I put the stuff by the side of the road. So we didn't interact since some had sick relatives in quarantine. Zhang Yi reveals that Wuhan citizen journalist Fang Bin is also a member of the aid group. Fang Bin recorded the pandemic in Wuhan, uploading videos of the dire situation at hospital morgues in Wuhan. He has been missing since February, and there has been no news from him since. Zhang Yi says in order to offer a bit of financial assistance to the people volunteering and collecting information, the aid group once launched a small fundraiser that raised around 13 to 14,000 yuan. Since not everyone can leave their houses, we raise a bit of money for those who dare to go out at the time and were willing to volunteer on the front lines. We wanted to give those people a bit of assistance, to the best of our abilities. With this in mind, we held a small fundraiser. Since Fang Bing had been driving around the city since the shutdown happened, we gave him around 1,000 yuan from the fundraiser as fuel money. Fang Bin was arrested at his house the day he received the 1,000 yuan. Zhang Yi reveals, after the money was spent on necessary expenditures, around 8 to 9,000 yuan were left. Since everyone was living in the pandemic area, no one knew if they'd survive. For safety reasons, Zhang Yi transferred the money to a Wuhan native who lived overseas to manage. That way, if the volunteers were infected, at least there would be someone who can help. Zhang Yi says, Because of this, a few days ago, the police gave the relatives of the overseas Wuhan native a call and summoned them to the police station. The officers told the relatives that the person was suspected of using WeChat to facilitate financial fraud overseas. Through his relatives, they asked where this person was and then required his relatives to go to the police station and sign a statement on his behalf admitting to using WeChat to commit financial fraud. Zhang Yi believes that since neither the Wuhan native who is living overseas right now, nor his relatives live in an area that is under the jurisdiction of the Gu Xiaoshu police. The police are not targeting this person. Instead, they are trying to turn the aid group's fundraiser into a financial fraud case. Is it wrong for us to temporarily band together and help each other? Where exactly do we do something wrong? Maybe you will cite laws governing charitable contributions and say we were collecting money illegally but we never collected over 15,000 yuan. Moreover, the money wasn't managed by me, and I didn't receive a penny from it. I even donated money. Zhang Yi explains, in order to avoid the possibility of the CCP framing the fundraiser as a financial fraudster, the aid group was very careful and transparent in their management of the donations. Once, a Wuhan resident wanted to give them 500 yuan of red envelope money as payment for receiving four bottles of alcohol from the aid group but the money was refused. Zhang Yi says, 
After he accepted interviews from Western media, the authorities started to target him. The Comprehensive Management Office and the police station often harass him, and now they are trying to frame him for financial fraud. In addition to Feng Bin, citizen reporter Chen Chue Shi and former CCTV reporter Li Zhehua have also disappeared in the midst of reporting on the pandemic in Wuhan. Zhang Yi hopes that the crimes of the CCP will be exposed through the media and warns that authorities should not be trying to use any method possible to suppress those who simply want to help themselves and reveal what is going on in the pandemic.